Hi everyone, Elisa with Jots Designs. In this video, I'm going to be using the Let's Resin UV Resin along with our new double-sided UV light. It is held together by magnets, or you could use just one side if you want. It also comes with a removable tray. It comes with only one USB-C cord, but if you have another one, you could use both separately at the same time. And it's got timers for two, three, and five minutes. For this easy project, I've got some metal files that I used for the cut ends of the metal frames I will be using, and that's only because I have angled cutting pliers. There are several different shapes you can get these in, and also in silver. I've got links and various discount codes in the description below. I'll be putting the two together like this. From little windows, I have some texture film. I'm using some silicone adhesive tape. I've also got a pencil, some scissors, an extra piece of freezer paper, isopropyl alcohol, a plastic spatula that I ended up trading out for a silicone brush later, and black UV gel nail polish. I've got the extra bit of freezer paper, which is what I usually have down to protect my surface, because the shiny side has a slight grip to it, and it will help me when cutting the texture film because it's so thin. It'll also help me see the lines I made with the pencil. First, I trace around the frame. Then I will cut inside the line a little bit to get the right size. Once I've got those cut out, I put them on the tape, making sure to avoid any lines created when pulling the tape out. I just used the eraser of the pencil to make sure they were stuck well to the tape. I also used tweezers to help me center the round part onto the teardrop. Then I added just a little amount of resin as the base and got that spread out. I wanted to make sure I didn't scratch the tape with anything sharp, so that's when I switched to the silicone brush. I placed everything on the tray that comes with the light because the paper I was working on was a bit warped from previous projects and it was easy to move everything without accidentally tipping it. Then I added in the pieces of the texture film, making sure to gently press out any bubbles. At first, I didn't want resin over the frames, so I grabbed the tiny pointy swabs, also from little windows, to wipe any excess off. After adding the pieces and getting the air out, I slid the tray into the bottom section's groove and gave that about a one minute cure just to get it set. Again, the light has two, three, and five minute presets and you get to each by pressing the button again. When I wanted it to be done, I just pressed the button until it turned off. I added more resin to cover everything up, again not covering the frame at all. I let that cure for two minutes. When I was pulling off the tape to start working on the back, one of them started to come apart. So I kept it on the tape, put the other on as well, and did another layer of resin covering the frames this time to ensure it is one solid piece. In hindsight, I would have just started by making the back, which I did want to cover the frames with the resin, then when I flipped it over, it would have been sturdy enough to not have to cover the frames with the resin on the front side. It is now cured again for two minutes. With the black gel nail polish, I wanted to make sure it wasn't too thick of a layer that it would have issues curing, but thick enough that it was opaque and I did not need two layers. I didn't fold the edges of the tape well, and it caused it to be a bit wrinkly and warped, so I cut them off and used sticks to hold it flat and give myself a place to hold on to as well. To be sure I didn't go past the teardrop frame, I pushed the black up to the edge. In my experience with gel nail polishes, they will like to creep back from the edges if you leave them uncured for long, so I just used half of the light to get it started curing quickly. I let the first one cure about 30 seconds, then moved on to the next one. When they were both covered, I cured them for two minutes. 
I didn't use it with this project, but just to show you, you can put the resin into a black nail polish bottle so you can always have a dedicated UV resin brush if you need it. I add a layer of resin to the entire back side to even everything out and get the black sealed in. With the majority of UV gel nail polishes, you need a top coat or it will stay tacky. I cure that for five minutes. I didn't want to drill these, but instead tack down a jump ring with the UV resin. I put a drop of resin off to the side and used the tiny pointy swab to add a little to the piece and then on top of the jump ring. I don't have the steadiest of hands, but I did my best to hold it flat in place while the light cured it enough that it was set in place. That takes about 10 seconds. Then I let it cure for about another 15 seconds and then added just a bit more resin to make sure it would be fully secured and let that cure for about 20 seconds. Then I did the same with the next one. I wasn't as steady with this one, so the jump ring is a bit off center, but it's okay because it will still hang right. All that's left is to add the earring pieces. As with jump rings, you want to twist these open, don't pull. What's neat about the texture film is that it looks different depending on the color behind it. I really like having the sections different. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.